At the site I'm working at, we recently discovered that FTP has been blocked on the network. So this is a problem for us IBMI developers wanting to upload save files to the machine. Um, one of my colleagues asked me how to do it using IBM Client Access. So um, I thought, let's find out how to do it using Access at IBM I ACS. So IBM I ACS, I talked about in this blog about how to go and download it. There's a link to the download on there. This is the new replacement for the old Client Access or iSeries Access as it was called. This is now IBMI Access Client Solutions. Um, it has a really nice emulator on there, but I'm not going to talk about that stuff. What am I waffling away about that for? Let's look at the integrated file system to upload. So if you follow the instructions, I'm going to upload uh, a save file from my PC direct to one of my clients, IBMI Systems, and restore it. It's really simple without using FTP. So we launch ACS. All you've got to click on then is the integrated file system link, or you can use the shortcut, uh, control I. This launches the uh, IBM I IFS screen. This is defeating to the default into a, a folder. I'm going to default to my personal IFS folder, which happens to be in home slash Nick on this machine. And this is an empty folder waiting to receive data. So if I click on Actions and then Upload, I can select my save file, which happens to be on my PC in my downloads. Uh, it's Project Ship. This is the new version of some of the utilities. Here's the save file, projectship.savf. So I'm going to select it and upload it. And off it goes. This will take a minute or two to upload because it's quite a big file and I'm working over quite a slow VPN. So I'm just going to pause it for one sec until we get to 99%. There is my file uploaded and it appears in my IFS. So let's sign on, create a save file, and copy this uploaded SAVF from the IFS direct into a save file. So I'll just use the ACS emulator. Here I am at the machine. Now I've got to remember my password. Okay, so if I look into that folder, which was home nick. Here's my IFS location, and hey, here's the, the save file that I just uploaded. As you can see, it's got all the save file data in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a save file for this to be copied into. So I'm going to create one in Qtemp. And I will call it, in this case, um, let's call it Corona, because we've got a sense of humor. So I'm going to create a save file in Qtemp called Corona. Done. And now I'm going to copy this save file that we uploaded into the real save file. So I use the copy command. It's coming from home, Nick, and the name of that uploaded file was projectship.savf. And I'm going to the library qtemp and the save file called corona. So I address this by saying it's qsys.lib. The name of the library is qtemp, which is a lib. And the object I'm copying into is Corona, which is a dot file. Lots of people get confused and they'll call it dot savf, but the IBMI name for that object is a dot file. I'm converting from a CCS ID of PC uh, ASCII, which is the format of the, P of the file that we uploaded, and the CC ID that I'm compiling into. Um, you can normally leave this as, as um, asterisk obj and it will work, but I tend to always tell it what the CCS ID is that I want to put it into. I can say replace object yes if that save file already existed or if it already had data in there. And this will copy this save file into the corona dot save file in Qtemp that I just created. So let's press enter and see how long this takes. It shouldn't take too long. It is a 30 megabyte save file. We shall see. Okay, object copied. Now all I have to do is look in that save file decide what I want to do with it. So I should do a display save file, Qtemp Corona. Hopefully I'll see all my objects in there. Boom, there they are. Here's the library that was uploaded and all the objects that are in that library. Uh, I can now restore those objects or do whatever I want to do with them. Pretty neat trick. Um, I really like it as a technique. It's my preferred way of uploading files. I hope that has helped someone out. All right. Ciao, Bella.